Hey, fellow NCLI scholars. Uh, thank you for listening to my elevator speech, and I really look forward to your feedback um, as I have struggled to kind of get this all down in three minutes and in a way that uh, would make sense to somebody that's not in our field. So here we go. We are all in working in education, specifically education research or special education, because we want to improve student outcomes, right? That's the point. But we can't improve all of education um, with one research project or one dissertation. So we each pick um, a part of education to focus on to hopefully improve at least part of the picture. And the part that I have found to be um, most interesting and important to myself that I chose to focus on is teacher-student relationships and teacher-student interactions and kind of how those work together over the course of a school year. So we know there's a lot of research out there that shows the importance of a supportive, warm, close teacher relationship in preschool and even early elementary school and how this can have um, long-term impacts and serve almost as a protective factor for students all the way through middle and high school. Um, it can reduce uh, high school dropout, substance abuse, um, and it really can also um, impact academic outcomes. Uh, where on the flip side, a more conflictual and less supportive um, relationship with a teacher can have the opposite effect and not serve as a protective factor. So it's important to understand how um, teacher-student relationships and interactions work so that we can improve these long-term outcomes. So what I wanted to look at was um, how the relationship between a child and a teacher builds over the course of a year. The student is spending an entire year with this teacher and the relationship isn't set at day one, it builds over the course of the year. So teachers and students have positive and negative interactions that kind of build in a cumulative um, manner over the course of the school year. So the teacher interacts with the child, the child responds, and then that influences the next interaction. And what I want to look at is how this kind of works to build the teacher-student relationship um, over the year so that we can really learn where to target interventions and how we can work with teachers to improve already supportive relationships to be even more positive and more warm and also how to help teachers that have more conflictual relationships with their students um, build more supportive and warm relationships. I also don't want to look at it just from the teacher's perspective of what the teacher can do, but I'm also interested in how the child's behavior and the child's um, disruptions, aggressions, and defiance impact their interactions with the teacher in this kind of transactional manner between the teacher and student. Um, I guess I'm out of time, so uh, thanks again for watching my video.